me to swear this oath before the great conqueror of demons. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I will remember your oath. Now go. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness, and for all that you have done for Lear. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Oh, wait. We haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shuin first thing tomorrow and look for him. Hey there, boss. Star Snatcher's staying here, right? Star Snatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. How strange that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it! Paimon's curious! Huh? Seems like he actually left us a few nice trinkets. Along with... <gasps> Woohoo! The sigil of permission! Paimon hasn't met a bad guy like him in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, let's go take the sigil of permission to Xiao, shall we? <laughs> ah, there you are! We got the sigil of permission back. Do you want to take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled ticker fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond tofu this time? Well, that's not like Xiao. Ticker fish was Pervasi's favorite dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. <laughs> Was there anything else? I... am accustomed to eating alone. Aha! Uh -huh. And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. Yeah.